Hi guys, yes, I'm about to build yet another uh, bench for the lab. I've spoken about this one before and I thought I was going to change things around a bit by putting up these uh, shelves, which you've seen in a previous video, but I've now got myself a storage uh, room off site where I can store a few things. So uh, yes, I'm bringing back the idea of the bench I had. And the idea was uh, I'm going to take this shelf uh, out of, here, so it'll go. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with that. It might go to my new storage room. This one's just going to shuffle across like this, so I'll still have most of my shelf in here. But then, hey Sagan, wave, wave. No, he's shy. All right, I'm going to have the bench coming out here. Another one, exactly the same material. It's uh, 2.3, uh, 2.1 meters by uh, 900 wide. There's Sagan. <laughs> Smile, Sagan. You're going to help Daddy, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Awesome. All right. And uh, yeah, exactly the same as all my other uh, benches over here. But I'm going to have it sort of like as an island bench uh, sticking out from the wall there. That is the plan. And yes, I've still got some blue uh, ESD rubber matting over in the corner. I think I've still got about three meters worth of that. So it'll cover that perfectly. It's exactly 900 millimeters deep. So. I'm just going to put some uh, legs on this. I got this from uh, Bunnings. It's a 30 millimeter uh, clear pine, and uh, it's a they're really nice uh, bench tongs. They're pretty cheap. They're only like um, 89 or 99 dollars each, or something like that. And uh, that's what I built all my benches from over here. Slightly different. Instead of having the legs like this right on the edge, I'm actually going to inset the legs um, on there. So uh, you know, because it's an island bench, so that should work pretty well. So here we go and assemble this sucker. Shouldn't take too long. I've already uh, cut the stuff from home. Are we ready, Sagan? Yeah? Give me a thumbs up. Yay! That's a finger. That's two fit. No, that's a pinky finger. Give me a thumb. We still need some bracing on the uh, bottom there or uh, sort of like uh, midway from the bottom or something like that, but that is pretty good. So now all we've got to do is move the shells and uh, put it in place and then cut the ESD mat. We did well, didn't we, Sagan? Yes. Yeah? Thumbs up? Yeah! Yeah, we did it! Yeah! yeah. You're a good little builder, aren't you? Okay. Yeah. Smile, Mrs. Eve Blog. Is it? Yes. Is that Daddy? Yes, it is. Wow.
Oh, you've got some math happening there, have you? You doing some math functions? Yeah. Yep, start stop mode. Got it covered? Oscilloscope? Yes. Can you say that word? It's a big word, oscilloscope. Oscilloscope. And there you have it. There's the uh, well, almost completed bench. As I said, got to put maybe some supports on the bottom side there, but it's basically just a freestanding bench so that I can uh, excuse the lack of uh, wireless audio now that I can uh, shoot things from three different sides now. So I can put the camera here on the end or on the other side and like big items that come in and uh, stuff like that. Maybe I can use this um, as the teardown bench perhaps instead of uh, over there. Although I still like it over there because I've got all my lights behind me and stuff like that. Still haven't sorted out the uh, lighting for this thing but yeah. I like just having this uh, island bench in here like this. It's quite good because a lot of the floor space here in the lab was actually a bit uh, wasted. I have my big uh, custom electronics bean bags, which uh, if you haven't seen, yes, they are an electronics circuit pattern on them. The world's only electronics bean bag, as far as I'm aware. And uh, but they can go underneath now. So when I want to sit on them, I can just bring those out and uh, sit, the, sit on them over there. But now I'm actually making use of the middle of the lab here, which is really good. You can never have too much bench space or shelf space. And I actually thought about uh, using the bench end on like this, like put my camera here and I could do like teardowns and then I get like a big uh, deep. As far as the camera's concerned, you'd see like a never ending bench like that so there's no crap at the bottom of the bench like you normally uh, see on my videos so I could do that uh, potentially but uh, at the moment I've got lights up there that are coming down at this angle like this and I've got hardly anything coming from this angle so I need like lights behind me to make all that work and yeah lighting's important and oh I don't know ah it's all too hard anyway if you've got any good ideas what I thought about is um some of the some of the mat over here. What is it, say again? I want to play with the lights. Oh, you want to play with the lights? Yes. All right, in a, in a second, dude. Um, what I thought about is pulling the mat, extending the ESD mat, so it curves up the wall like this, and I can sort of like <laughs> stick it on the wall, and that could be like a photography uh, type thing, and it actually worked quite well with a nice blue um, pale background like that, and just seamless going up. But the problem is the bench is then too long. And I'd have to stick a camera here and face it that way, and uh, it doesn't work. I don't know, so I'll probably get one of those light boxes, light, uh, light uh, cube uh, sort of things you can buy on eBay really cheap, and I'll probably use one of those for like um, doing uh, doing uh, teardown photography and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. If you get it and got any good ideas what I can do with this island bench, let me know. You like hopping up on the bench, don't you, Say again? Yes, I do. Yeah, you do? Yeah, it was good fun helping Daddy. Yeah? It's fun coming to Daddy's lab? Yes. Yeah. All right. You did well helping, dude. Give me a high five. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wave bye-bye.